Hello, TEDx Canberra. I'd like to say that I'm happy to be here, but I'm more terrified than anything else. <laughs> I was just looking over my notes and um, anyway, we'll see how we go. I've got a guitar here, so worst comes to worst, you'll hear a few songs. So. <laughs> so it's been a long day and I appreciate you being here at the end of the day. Um, what I'm going to talk to you today is about creativity and its cathartic impact on transgenerational traumas. So, a nice light subject just to end the day. <laughs> creativity and being an artist has been a rock for me throughout my entire life. It's one of the first things I can remember knowing about myself and it's that knowledge of self that I could always rely on and find safety within. One of my earliest memories is of being about four years old and getting home to a house in Northcote in Melbourne and um, there was a black clipboard folder leaning up against the door and on it was a piece of paper that said, fuck off abos. So this was my first memory of racism and bigotry and more to the point, my first memory of the fear and terror that racism and bigotry brings. Um, it's something that is with me every day of my life. The fear and terror has been a chain around my neck and it's also a fire on my tongue. Creativity and its cathartic impact on transgenerational traumas has been a lifeline for me out of the vicious cycles that plague my people. It's been a way for me to provide for my family and help to ensure that they get a better ride than I had, as has been done for me, and as I hope they will do for future generations. The telling of stories and knowing that we've been heard and acknowledged is a basic human need. It tells us that we matter. Living in a country that celebrates its existence on a day that commemorates the ongoing genocide <clears throat> of its first people tells us that we don't matter. Our disproportionate incarceration rates tells us we don't matter. Our deaths in custody rates, the manner in which our lives and our stories are portrayed in the media tells us that we don't matter, having to be twice as good to receive half as much and conversely only needing to be half as bad to receive twice the condemnation means somebody has to be, and unjustly so, extremely clever and extremely resilient to reach the same levels as someone who's not subjected to those double standards. When I first started receiving acknowledgement and recognition in my own career and I won my first ARIA, there were some in the media that said it was tokenism, thereby implying I didn't earn it or I didn't deserve it or something that we hear all too often. It's a handout. So I went and won five more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and counting. <laughs> we'll see. Creativity and its cathartic impact on transgenerational traumas has helped me to reach a state of excellence and others reach a state of excellence within our lives and within our chosen fields. As I mentioned earlier, it's something that I'm able to use to provide for my family in a practical sense, but also in an emotional and very holistic sense. Something I believe in very strongly and which I'm passing on to my kids is positivity and construction, as opposed to negativity and destruction. Negativity might have a short and sharp impact in the moment, however, I feel that it's positivity that really is lasting, as it requires more thought and more consideration by everyone involved. So this is why I do what I do as an artist, to create things that I feel are beautiful. I've written songs about my children. 
obviously a very beautiful, positive subject matter, and I've also written songs about some things that are quite nasty. To turn something like that note on the door all those years ago, something so ugly as that, into something beautiful for my kids and for anyone who wants it. It's gorgeous. So, creativity and its cathartic impact on transgenerational traumas is clear and it's powerful and ultimately lasting in a very impactful way. Now, if you'll humour me, Case in point. How's everyone doing? <laughs> That's fine, mate. Thanks. Now there's a note at my door. We don't want you around. And I felt the fear the first time that I found. And I was just a boy And I carried the weight And now that I'm older It sits on my shoulders Oh, you tell me to cast it away And tell me how I'm meant to feel Tell me my past and my shame isn't real. You, you, you're entitled to think what you like. It's true. This story is mine. Now you broadcast your words. Down your gold microphones Designed to remind them That this ain't my home anymore Oh, but I know who I am My blood to the core And I'll tell my Thanks very much. I'll see you later.